Welcome to the Z Hut. Today I'd like to show you how you can add this simple circuit to a mouse trap to be able to check if it's been triggered and you got a mouse by using your Android device. Now the reason I came up with this project is I don't use mouse traps in my house. I do need them in the garage and other places, but in the house I have three cats. They're, a mouse gets in here, it's a play toy, and then a snack. <clears throat> but um, having to go out and check the traps all the time, especially being it's winter right now, is kind of annoying. And by coming up with this circuit to add to the mouse trap, I can just turn on my tablet or my phone and check and see if the trap has been sprung. And most likely I have a mouse if it's been sprung. Now, um, I do have another video on how to bait a mouse trap. So you get the mouse like 99% of the time. Uh, check that out after, after you watch this video because uh, this will increase your chances because you put peanut butter, or spreadable cheese, stuff like that in your mouse trap. You're giving the mouse a free snack is basically all you're doing. And I've come up with a way to bait these that you're going to get the mouse 99% of the time. Now I also do recommend mounting this project on like a small piece of scrap plywood or a little chunk of 2 by 4 just something to weight it down a little so when the trap goes off it's not flipping over and unplugging. Also other mice and rats and Small animals of that nature will drag this off if it's not weighted down with anything, and then you're going to have to go searching for your trap. All right, so what I'll do is I'll demonstrate it working first, and then we'll go through the circuit, and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we'll open up the app. Then we hit the connect button to connect to the Bluetooth module, and I'm using an HC06. HC05 will work as well. Then I renamed this module to trap number one, because you can use as many of these as you want to build with the same app. You just, you're only connecting to one trap at a time. So you could have a hundred traps set up and you just, you know, select what trap you want off this list. And I've only got one, so I'm selecting trap one. It'll take a moment. There we go. Now it's checking the trap. Now this up, this updates every 10 seconds. So it'll take a moment once you connect. And as you can see, it's saying the trap is armed. And the trap is armed. Trap is armed. So I'll go ahead and spring the trap. You got a mouse. And you see, it's telling you you got a mouse. So when you see that, you go out, throw the mouse out of your trap, you got a mouse. and then simply reset your trap. trap is armed. See, trap is armed. All right. I'm going to disconnect, move this out of the way, and uh, zoom in a little more so you can see better. Now this is real easy project to build. There's not a whole lot of parts. Um, you'll need a solderless breadboard <coughs> or if um, you're good at soldering you could solder this up on a, a little uh, circuit board but otherwise uh, it, it'll work perfectly fine on one of these solderless breadboards. So of course we got an Arduino microcontroller that's this right here. I'm using a Nano. You can use any microcontroller, uh, Arduino microcontroller, but uh, I chose the Nano because it was nice and small. Then uh, we have a logic level converter, and that's connected between the Arduino and the Bluetooth module, the HC06, because the HC06 works on 3.3 logic, and the Arduino board works on 5-volt logic. So what this does is it converts everything going out to the HC06 is being knocked down to 3 volts. And then everything coming from that board to the Arduino is being 
increased to 5 volts. Now, if you don't have one of these, but I do recommend using them, you can use a voltage divider in there in its place. But um, I got five of these for like $2. Just buy one of them because it's going to make this work a, a lot better. And then the only other component we really have is the photo interrupter. That's what's down here on the trap. Uh, open the trap. That's the photo interrupter right there. And what that is, is there is a infrared LED on one side and an infrared transistor on the other. And what I have here is just a little piece of black tape. I actually soldered on a little tab under there to make it a little more support. If um, you don't have a little torch to solder on, you can just put the tape. It'll work. Um, you just might have to bend it back into place after it's been triggered, but it'll work fine without soldering that little tab. I just did it because it gives it a little more support. And uh, what happens is when the trap is sprung, it allows the light to activate the infrared transistor, and that sends a signal to the board to tell it the trap is sprung. And you just simply use the app to check your trap. And uh, it updates the way I have it set up every 10 seconds. And I figured that was enough. Um, it's not sending the info every one second or whatever. I, I figured 10 seconds was enough. So Now for the full schematic on how to put this together, uh, go to the website and there will be a link in the description below. Also for the app which is free. Um, I wrote the app myself, and it is free, and you just go to the website, and you'll find a link to download that as well. And uh, then just put the app on your tablet or phone, whatever you're going to use, and then, like I said, you can you could have a thousand traps if you wanted set up. Just, um, I would recommend uh, renaming your uh, Bluetooth module on each one with a different name and like Trap 1, Trap 2, Trap 3. I'll also have a link on the website. Uh, I found this sketch not too long ago. Instead of having to go into the command modes and all that with it, you just use the sketch and uh, type in what name you want to name your module. And then it go, goes ahead and changes the name. Pretty easy to do. Uh, just remember when you're uploading the sketch to the Arduino board, make sure you either disconnect the Bluetooth module or disconnect its power. Either one will work because if you have this on while you're trying to upload, it ain't going to work. It won't work at all. All right. Well, I think we can wrap this tutorial up. Like I said, this is pretty easy to put together. There's not a whole lot to it. Um... If you're only building one, probably about 8 to $10 worth of stuff. Um, if you're building multiples and you order all the stuff at the same time, you probably knock it down to about $5 each to build. And then I'm powering it with a, uh, a wall wart plug-in, but you could use a battery. If you do use a battery, I would recommend rechargeable. Otherwise, you're going to be spending lots of money on batteries, lots. So, check out uh, the website, and you'll find the schematic and the app and all that, plus some more info and pictures on this. And Also, um, make sure you watch my video on how to bait the mousetrap, because baiting it the right way is going to increase your chances of getting the mouse. And... Like I said at the beginning, you put peanut butter or spreadable cheese on here. The mouse is just going to sit there and 80 to 90% of the time, he's going to lick the trap clean. And you're going to come back to find an empty trap that hasn't been sprung. And uh, that's no good. All right. Well, thanks for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. If you found this info useful, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day and have fun building.